Millions of people in New York City means billions of events every day. Join us as we talk with New York City Cyber Command about what these events are, why it's important to track them, and how they build a scalable system to protect all of the people in New York City on this episode of Stack Chat. Thanks for joining us today, Noam. Can you tell us a little bit about what New York City Cyber Command does? Sure, thanks for having us. So New York City Cyber Command is an organization that is responsible for preventing, detecting, responding, and recovering to any threats to our city systems. That's a pretty big mandate, and you've got a lot of information coming in every day. Can you tell me how you built a pipeline to process all of that data? We have tons of log sources. I think we're approaching 20 now, and we'll have more by the day. So we have on-cloud and on-prem. And the way we split things up is that for on-prem log sources, we use Sys the syslogng protocol, and we use it to enrich all logs with metadata whether it be IPs or timestamps and so on. For on-cloud, we use Google's cloud functions to perform a similar function. So once we get that data, we can output it using Google's PubSub. And we have an application called Flow Control that inputs all this data, and it runs on Google's Dataflow and Apache Beam in order to remove all corrupt, meaningless, or incomplete data. So further down the pipeline, we don't have to handle it, and we don't have to distract from the parsers. So once that's complete, we once again use Google's PubSub to now take all our logs into our main piece of logic, which is the parsers. So for every single log, we have a different set of code, whether it's separated by a bunch of mumbo jumbo or comma separated, and so on. Now we can make it into meaningful data and something that's queryable by our security analysts, and the best place for that would be BigQuery. Once it's in BigQuery, we can start taking all our data and applying machine learning algorithms, outputting it into dashboards, or just having something as simple as having our security analysts query it and find something dangerous or maybe a hacking attempt. So if you could go back and tell you know, past Noam what, what to do from the beginning. What, what lesson would you give yourself to make this whole process easier? Google PubSub is unordered. And as a result, that made it so that we had to add a lot of additional complex logic later on in order to reassemble some of our data. Our log sources are split up and sometimes a message might come in now and then the remainder of that message might come 20 minutes later, a couple hours later or tomorrow. And when messages aren't ordered, we don't really know when something is necessarily uh, tied into another message. Tell me a little bit about what's coming next. What new evolutions are you excited about for this pipeline? Right, so we have three approaches. So firstly, we want to expand on our machine learning algorithms. We have a supervised and unsupervised application that is essentially an alpha right now. We want to finish it and we want to have it outputting meaningful results. Then we want to start spreading our pipeline to other cities. We want to maybe write some white papers or some research topics and have them create a similar secure space that we have. And finally, we want to expand to sim space. Uh, right now, we're creating a simulation environment uh, that is nearly identical to our own. And we can use that to gather training data and model some of the attacks that are coming against city systems. It's great to know that you and your team are working hard to keep us all safe. Thank you very much. Thank you. Interested in checking out Apache Beam and Dataflow? Get started with some templates to get up and running quickly. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more great Google Cloud Platform content. We'll see you on the next episode of Stack Chat.